Many important changes began taking place at the turn of the century. Imperialistic policy began in America shortly before the beginning of the 20th century. In 1903, Roosevelt enlarged the territory of the U.S. by obtaining the Panama Canal Zone. Although the United States originally claimed they were neutral, they eventually became involved in World War I. This resulted in detachment and disillusionment among the Americans that took part in the war. As the industries began to grow at a rapid pace, so did the number of immigrants coming into the country and settling into the slums of major cities. With the growth of immigration came a fear of foreigners. This resulted in the Immigration Quota Act of 1924. The Jazz Age emerged as a way to rebel against the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant ideals of the time. This period is marked with a pursuit of freedom, pleasure and progress. This was also the era of Prohibition, a period from 1920 to 1933 in which alcohol was banned. Economic progress came to a halt in 1929 with the Wall Street crash. Stocks lost their value overnight and many stores and factories shut down, resulting in widespread unemployment. Many people lost money and were plunged into mystery. When Roosevelt was elected in 1932, it marked the beginning of the recovery. Technological improvement resulting from the war caused great advantages in mass communication. Radio stations began nationwide broadcasting in 1924. This had a big effect on language as public word wiped out local, regional and ethnical subcultures and dialects. Newspapers had a similar effect due to standardization. This era also marked the rise of the tabloid, which was very popular in the UK at the time. American English was characterised by acronyms and abbreviations at the turn of the century. They grew in popularity to keep up the fast pace at which the country was growing. Typical examples are the well-known OK and ABC, which stood for American Broadcasting Company. Poets of this era were influenced by the modernist spirit. Psychology also had a big impact on the poets of the time, and both the style and content of the work they produced. A key feature was the depiction of the disillusionment of the time. A strong literary movement of black writers emerged in 1920s New York, known as the Harlem Renaissance. This movement used the speech of the common black people and the rhythm of jazz and blues music. They often tackled themes such as discrimination. Many writers, such as F. Scott Fitzgerald, wrote about their experiences during the war. Often the devastating effects of the war were depicted. Images of waste, sterility, Cultural and moral decline dominate the literature of Fitzgerald and Hemingway. F. Scott Fitzgerald is easily one of the most famous novelists of this era. His works depicted a glamorous but often corrupt America. His most famous work, The Great Gatsby, depicts the failure of the American dream that so many people of the time sought. Fitzgerald's characters are often wealthy spoiled, brilliant, and have a total lack of ideals. His works often have a strong plot and smooth narrative. The highly descriptive scenes in The Great Gatsby serve as a refuge for the anxiety of the characters. 
Hemingway's style was very different to that of Fitzgerald's. He employed an economical style with the use of precise words, simple sentences, and avoiding superfluous elements. He also favoured dialogue over description. His novels often depicted the disillusionment of the lost generation. Other popular novels of the time included works that depicted small-town life, such as those by Faulkner, and social novels such as those by Steinbeck, which depicted the problems created by the Great Depression. <laughs>